I'm going to teach you how to replace a flex shaft cable inside of the Fordham SR rotary tool. Now, if you have a different rotary tool, such as a Dremel or another brand, the same principles apply, but it's gonna be a little different because each tool has different inner working parts. Now, I broke the cable off inside this. I'll be vulnerable with you guys. I was being a little careless. I was carving an ax handle. I put this hand piece down and it just kind of wandered off into my dust collector and got hung up in the filter and just snapped that wire. I'm so glad that didn't get caught up in my clothes. So you guys have to be careful. Learn from the mistake here. So we are going to change this out. Let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is to make sure this is unplugged. Next, we want to remove the removable handpiece. And for the next part, I am going to take a small flathead screwdriver and you'll see a little screw right here we want to loosen up. So we're gonna do that and just pull the flex shaft sleeve right on out. And if you look, you can see where this wire broke off. Now we are going to take a crescent wrench and remove the motor connector, and this is reverse. So instead of righty tidy, it's righty loosey. And that has it written right across there. So we're gonna take this and just turn until it loosens and pull this off. And now we can see where this snapped at. So let's change this. If you look real close, we have another flathead screw. So we're gonna put our screwdriver in there and just loosen it up and pop it right off. At this point, we are going to replace the flex shaft cable inside of the flex shaft sheath with a new one. So we want to go to the top of the flex shaft sheath, and I do have my gloves on because I am working with my expensive camera that I wanna get grease on it. We are going to remove this inner flex shaft cable right here. Now I am going to dispose of this properly. Be careful, do not let this grease get on your clothes. One of the cheapest places to get new replacement flex shaft cables is on Amazon. I will post a link below. Before we insert this new cable into the flex shaft sheath, we need to grease this up because it doesn't come pre-greased. The lubricant I am using is the Fordham brand flex shaft lubricant. The way I'm going to apply this is by starting near to the top and I'm just gonna run a thin bead along here. This doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna go down almost the entire length of the shaft. Okay, we just finished up. I am stopping near the bottom. I'm not going all the way to the end. So the next step here, like I said, I do have gloves on. You can do this without gloves, but I'm just gonna take the grease and I'm gonna rub it in just like this. And if you're working, I would suggest getting on a, an area that you do not mind getting grease on because this can get pretty messy. Like right here, I have grease all over my cutting mat. So I'm just gonna take this and just go around this whole wire right here, making sure all the grease gets in here. Be sure not to over grease this. We are looking for a normal amount. We are going to take the flex shaft and attach it to the bottom of the motor where the connector is. Now, if you look at the bottom part of this connector, you can see that it is flat. And as we connect the flex shaft cable, where the screw is right here, slides right over the top of the flat part. So now we're gonna take our screwdriver and just snug everything up. Now we are going to take the flex shaft connector and put it right over the top of the flex shaft wire and bring it up just like this. And remember, this is lefty tidy, righty loosey. It's reverse. And we are going to take our crescent wrench and just barely snug this up. We can over tighten and crack this, so do not do that. Just snug it up. We are going to feed our flex shaft wire through our sheath. And once you do that, the sheath inserts right through the flex shaft connector. Now we want to make sure only three quarters of an inch of the shaft tip sticks out of the sheath. And the way we adjust this is by pulling back, and you can kind of see the shaft tip as I'm doing that. As we pull this out of the motor connector, you can see the shaft tip just going up there. So what we want to do is to take a ruler and measure three quarters of an inch. 
and just keep adjusting until you get it. This is a little difficult for the camera, but I think that's it right about there. Now, once you got that adjusted, you want to go to the set screw on your motor connector and snug it up. Okay, we are through. Now we are going to take this and attach it to the top of our flex shaft hanger. Okay, now for the moment of truth, let's see if this works. I'm going to insert this cable into the handpiece and hit the gas. Yay, there we go. If you did this right, the end of the key will insert perfectly into the handpiece. And that is how it is done. I hope you found this video useful, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and hit the thumbs up. It helps more than you know. I'll see you in the next tutorial. See you later.